On a spelling test, Carlos had to spell 25 words. He earned a total of four points for every word he spelled correctly. Which equation can be used to find P, the total number of points Carlos earned for spelling W words correctly? If you haven't had a chance to solve the problem, pause the video now and find a solution. Once you have a solution, restart the video so that you can see if your solution matches mine. Alright, so it says on a spelling test, Carlos had to spend, spell 100 words. He earned four points for every word he spelled correctly. So four points for the right ones. And there's 25 total. Okay. Which equation can be used to find P, the total number of points? So P is his points. Carlos earned for spelling W words correctly. So W is what was correct. All right. So let's think about this. All right, Carlos had to spell 25 words. He had earned 100 points for every word correctly. Well, if he had 25 words and four points each for which ones he spelled correctly, I could figure out that 25 times four equals a whole total 100 points. Alright, but that doesn't seem to want to help me do anything. Alright, that hundred, I don't, I know this, but I don't think this helps me anywhere. So I'm going to leave it over there. Maybe I'll come back to it, maybe I won't. But at least I'm jotting down everything I can think. Alright, four points for every right question. There's 25 total. P is the points, that's his grade, that's what I want to know. And W is the one he got right. Hmm. Huh, well let me think about this. All right, well maybe I should look at some of these. Um, points, correct. I know these have to be related. It says he earns four points for every word he spelled correctly. And W is words correctly. See, I can see, oh, correctly and correctly. Those might go together. Four points for every one he spelled correctly. And W is what he spelled correctly. I kind of feel like I need to multiply those, the four times the W, because he gets four points for every question he gets right. And this stands for what he gets right. All right. That sounds right to me, because yeah, because sometimes when I do homework assignments and we're figuring out how many get we get wrong, I always take the number I get wrong, multiply it by how many points they are, and then I take it from 100. So I'm always multiplying some points by questions. So I think I need to do this. Well, let's look. Well, D tells me that I'm adding. I know I'm not adding, so I know that's not the correct answer. C says points equals four times the number right. I got that, maybe. Let's look at these other two. Points equals four times 25 minus W. Well, hmm. W is what he got right. So if I do 25 minus what he got right, that would be what he got wrong. 25 minus the W. That would be, there's 25 total, and W is what he got right. That would equal the number he got wrong. Well, I don't want that, so that can't be right. This one says P equals W, in parentheses, times 25 minus 4. Well, 25 is questions, and 4 is points. I don't think I'd be taking the number of questions and subtracting the number of points. That sounds kind of silly. So I don't think that that one's it either. If I go back and look at this one, points equals four times the number he got right. Well, that would kind of make sense because if he got all 25 of them right, four times 25 is 100 over here, and that would be a perfect score. If he got 20 right, four times 20 would be 80, so 80 would be his score. Oh, that makes sense. So the answer is C. Number of points is equal to four times the number he got right.